Hi people, do you want an only Marino Ravenberg here again? Uh, I'm going to discuss a subject that is more mundane, but at the same time, uh, occultists and people that are more introverted might have heard of this. Uh, dare I even say, undoubtedly have heard of this. Um, the phrase or the saying, living in your own world, being accused of living in your own world. I'm pretty sure that uh, some of you that are watching this, more than some of you, have heard the saying or have been accused of living in your own world and I'm simply going to discuss that you know just nitpick at it and explain what it is exactly etc because maybe I mean some of you might not understand it fully or it simply never sunk in or anything like that so allow me to so to speak enlighten you because with me it's also been the case I mean based on my location and whatnot I honestly it's like I'm Albert Einstein and I'm surrounded by retarded mental patients in a mental institution um in any case yeah i've been accused multiple times of living in my own world especially by those that don't like me and i know exactly what is meant by living in my own world i know what the the so-called uh, <clears throat> people what are supposed to be people hashtag vermin what they mean when i'm being accused of living, living in my own world, but like I said, it just goes over my head. It doesn't even remotely face me or anything similar. Bottom line is, generally speaking, globally, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. No, no, it's not. Uh, this is aside from location. That has nothing to do with it. Globally, when people say that you live in your own world, primarily the people that actually utter phrases like that or that will actually use this saying are people that are people that are heavily reliant on others as in they are the opposite of the kind that embraces individuality they have a kind of a herd mentality if you will i repeat they have a herd mentality as in h-e-r-d they see themselves as a member of a whole and they need to contribute and they need to it's their duty or it's customary even to involve themselves in the lives of uh, the other herd members, so to speak. Uh, these are usually primitive kind of people. Uh, the people that live more by the, the so-called doctrine, eat, sleep, breathe, shit and die. Uh, you know, parasitic kinds of people. I'm not saying that everyone like that is a parasite. But the ones that are actual people, or can be considered so, are generally speaking primitive people, you know. People that are like um they're all that that have a kind of a tribe member a tribal kind of behavior and there are people that live in small isolated communities in general even if it's in a big city that they live they have their small communities that are either semi-isolated or similar um and for these people the concept of things like privacy and uh individualism and boundaries and so on all of that stuff is practically non-existent these kind of people will do things like trespass on your personal property they'll borrow stuff that belongs to you without your permission they'll ask you inappropriate questions that you're not that they're not supposed to ask you it just goes on okay these kinds of people uh, have um, not to mention prying of course as in prying into your business, sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. These people are not uh, are not people that are familiar with these concepts. So of course to someone like me, so to the occultists and people that have an interest in the occult overall and people that generally speaking are more introverted in nature and more distant um, are the people like us you know, we load these kind of people. These kind of people are disgusting, to say the least. And they, yeah, for me, it's no different, really. Okay, for me, it's I'm all about individualism, respecting personal boundaries, uh, respecting privacy and everything. You know, I'm a brainiac, I'm a thinker, I'm the analyst, I'm the intellectual. So yeah, people like that will automatically view me as uh, someone that lives in his or her and lives in his own world and by their idiotic logic quote unquote logic what's supposed to pass for logic you're uh, mentally ill you're disturbed you're not right in the head and so on and so forth 
So yeah, in case you were unaware of it, dear viewer, that is what um, is meant when someone accuses someone else of living in their own, their own world. Uh, so yeah, if you're someone that doesn't really enjoy socializing with others, you are very much um, the isolative kind of type. You're the kind that's distant, aloof. You're, um, you know, you place emphasis on self-empowerment self and strength and so on. Then to those people with that herd mentality, you, these people are, uh, they'll accuse you of living in your own world. Of course, it's not something that I hear too often, but I have heard it more than more, once or twice in my life. Uh, and by their idiotic logic, it's like something's wrong with you. Uh, and from our perspective, we obviously think about it in the exact opposite way. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> that uh, so that's in in case what is meant. Uh, if um, you ever hear that, that's what is meant. To put it that way, uh, with um, living in one's own world. Uh, yeah. And for the rest, I don't really have a lot else to say. I thought maybe that I'd have more to say, but no, I don't really have anything else to say. So I'm just going to finish up with saying that, like I just said, okay, the people that usually, oh yeah, one last thing that I was going to say is, um, if you're thinking about how to deal with stuff like this, if you're someone that finds himself or herself in this kind of position, and you're wondering how do I deal with stuff like this, I would just tell you to just do the same thing I'm doing, okay? You need to have, if you're insecure about it, and if you're insecure, generally speaking, about yourself and your life, then start building up some self-confidence. But generally speaking, you will have the self-confidence to the point where stuff like this doesn't even remotely affect you. Because you need to be sure of yourself and who you are as a person. And generally speaking, uh, solitude will make your mind strong. Naturally make your mind strong and resilient. And yeah, um, even if you are someone that's insecure, I, I'm going to tell you to not be so. Understand that... The people that have these opinions, their word means little to nothing based on what I already said in terms of description. These people are sheep. They are, um, like I said, they have no individual value or they have no sense of individuality. Okay, these people, they are, like I said, they're, they're, they're like parasites. Eat, sleep, breathe, shit and die. For them, life just consists of the daily dealings and um, that's it dropping dead at the end of their life cycle uh, but uh, they are not the kind that can think really they live by impulse okay they live by impulse I need to buy bread I need to do groceries they have a severely restricted if any at all capacity for thinking we're talking about serious thought and actually being aware of their own existence in the world as a human being they're that you can put them on equal footing with animals that's pretty much how, how, how lesser or minuscule they are. So yeah, based on that alone, I wouldn't tell you to even remotely bother because I don't. It's not even so. I care about someone whose opinion actually matters. You know, some worthless than nothing parasite it means nothing to me. Uh, but yeah, bottom line is um, you'll unfortunately have people that will chastise you for that. Uh, this isn't my opinion, I deal with facts, okay? I'm speaking in neutral, in a neutral tone of voice, okay? I'm not referring specifically to my personal situation. My personal situation, like I said, it's just an example, nothing more. Uh, so yeah, it, um, I don't even bother with something like that. For me, like I said, it's literally just nothing for me. I think, let's see, one, two, three, four, nine, nine. Let's just say roughly over the course of my life, I'm 34. I've heard that saying at least five or six times. That I live in my own world. Marino lives in his own world. He doesn't live in the real world. I'm not bothering with it because I am, you know, I know what I'm surrounded by. I'm surrounded for the most part, generally speaking, in those situations, I'm surrounded by worthless and nothing dimwits that can't even think straight, that are literally no different than cattle. They're only good to be slaughtered. So, in that context, they're only good for cheap labor and that's pretty much it. For the rest, they have no intrinsic value. So, well, like I said, it really does not even remotely bother me. It just goes in one ear out the other. It doesn't even go into one ear. For me, it just flies literally right over my head. I, because I, but I know what is meant with that, obviously. Some, some people might think that I'm not aware of that, but I know. 
I know what is meant with that saying, I live in my own world, or when someone else accuses someone, hey, you live in your own world. You know, they have that kind of hurt mentality. But like I said, I already gave a good description. You know, these are really primitive people down to earth. Usually people that are like, that live like hillbillies. Doesn't matter whether they live in the city or whether they live in a rural area. They live, um, their entire existences uh, revolves around revolves around their own tiny community okay they see themselves as nothing more than members of an of a beehive as bees and they're members of a beehive and you can already tell that yeah no value whatsoever behind that there's no individuality there's nothing so yeah that is it in any case and i'll hear from you guys if you have any questions see you later bye